Hello everybody and welcome back. You'll be a good ruler. It doesn't matter what you do to get there. I'm not acting from ambition. I only want what's best for my people. For the people who adore you. All those smiles they used to save for your brother. Now you'll be the shining prince. All you have to do is kill anyone in your way. Silence, Temptress. Your whispers led our allies astray. You're the only one I must kill. <laughs> nice. Except he's not very good. Why is Sebastian pissed off at me? Seb, what did I do? Ah, oh, can I not make anybody happy the first go around? I probably should have just killed it outright. So now I have to kill Lady Harriman. And that's... That's apparently not good. That's apparently bad. I screwed up. I'm sorry. You guys just can't seem to... Keep yourselves alive, can you? You shouldn't even be over here, Seb. Jeez, get out of the way. Oh, she's a blood mage. That ain't happening. My soul will make short work of them. To I am a You'll be fine. Oh. Let's finish this. Never taunt a mage. Oh, Seb. And me. I can't die, that would be bad. You'll be fine. Except she keeps sucking your life force or something. I don't know what's going on, but... Sebastian, why'd you have to go and die? Because it was easier that way. Anders, why are you running away? Seriously, Anders, you may not like him, but you better heal him. I'll be so mad at you. you plan on your ass. Yeah, you're not casting shit. I will petrify your ass. That's what it takes. There she is. Die. Let us return to the I must pray for Lady Harriman's soul. Yeah, you do that. Except I don't know why I got rivalry with you. It's actually really amusing because I seem to get rivalry with characters like when I meet them. And then that's it. What is this? Hmm. I really like that. It's a pretty cool looking staff thingy too. Oh, and that means Anders can have my other staff thingy. Alright, cool. There you go, Anders. Alright, back to the Chantry. Let us return to the Chantry. I'm- Sebastian! I am so, so... Sorry is such an inadequate word. When I think what Mother made us do... What those creatures made us do... We were friends, Flora. It was like a cloud came down on me. All I could feel or think was what the demon allowed. 
Did your mother order the attack on Sebastian's family? She did. Ooh. You know mother, Sebastian. She was always jealous of your parents. The demon twisted that until it was all she could think of. She was determined to seize Starkhaven for herself. Was your mother a mage? How did she find this demon? We've never had magic in our line. Perhaps that made mother too confident. She thought she could deal with the demon and not fall prey to it. Right. It is demons who should be feared, not mages. Those ruins there were unearthed when we expanded the house. Mother found the demon inside. I think she had signed her bargain before we even knew. Hmm. They're all dead. Your mother, too. My mother has not existed for some time. What died today was only a puppet of the demon. If it takes every last coin my family owns, I will make reparations to everyone we've wronged. Starting with you, Sebastian. We weren't the only ones vying for Starkhaven. If you face more opposition, you have my support. It will not make up for what happened. No, that's true. I'll tell you when I need you. Seb, seriously. Why are you gonna be like that? Let us return to the chantry. I must pray for Lady Harriman. You must soul. do a lot of things, including stop getting uh, can't please anybody ever. Except Aveline, sometimes Carver. Varric. Oh dear, 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 dear. Hey, I found my way out. About time. I was worried I was gonna get lost. Don't get why you gotta be like that, Seb. Is that supposed to be Andraste's face on your crotch? <laughs> what? <laughs> that belt buckle thing. Is that Andraste? Oh, that thing. My father had this armor commissioned when I took my vows as a brother. I'm just not sure I'd want the maker seeing me shove his bride's head between my legs every morning. <laughs> oh, God. I have to agree with Anders on that one. Not sure I'd want to see that either. There are still many refugees. You seem very angry. And here I thought the Chantry was against mind reading. Did something happen to you in the circle? I understand there were problems in Ferelden. Are you saying a mage can only be unhappy in the circle if demons are involved? No. It's not about Aldred. It's not about being beaten or raped by a Templar. That does happen. Uh. But I've been fortunate. It's a larger principle. The freedom every man, woman and child born in Thedas have as a natural right. You were given to the circle. I was given to the Chantry. Hawk was driven away from home by the Darkspawn. None of us are free. Ah, uh, Seb. Why am I even going up here? I had hoped prayer might cleanse me of the desire demon's touch. But I still hear her voice so clearly. I feel like I've bathed in filth that will never come off. You acted honorably. Why are you ashamed? The demon didn't lie. I used to be bitterly jealous of my brother. I wanted to be prince. Now everything he had is mine. And he lies in ashes. I keep asking myself, do I want this because it's right? 
or simply to have what I never thought I could. Aren't you your parents' heir? I'm the youngest son of three. My parents were rather traditional. They wanted the heir and the spare, and I was left in the cold. They put me in the chantry to prevent my competing with my brothers. Oh. You seem very dedicated to the chantry. You were put there against your will? At first. But it was the best thing that could have happened. I was a wild boy, a shame to my family. The chantry made me a man. It's odd. When I wanted to rule, I would have been terrible at it. Now that I might be decent, I don't know if it's the right thing to do. It's the wisdom not to want power that lets you use it wisely. You didn't feel what that demon stirred in me. It cannot be right to lead any army to Starkhaven with such doubt in my heart. I owe you more than I can say, Hawk. I will offer my service to you here before I move on. <laughs> I can think of a few services for you to perform. What? Why are you <laughs> smiling like Oh. Oh my. That, that, that's not what I meant. I, uh, I think I need to pray. A lot. <laughs> oh, I like making characters uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, Sebastian. I think this is yours. My grandfather's bow, but where did you get it? One of the Flint Company mercenaries had it. Thank you. It's hard to mourn the loss of a thing while my family lies dead. But I did think of it. What's the story behind that bow? As the youngest son, it was my place to lead Starkhaven's militia. But I never had a talent for swordplay. Too much getting hit. My grandfather said the bow is the wise man's weapon. You can defend your city without opening its gates. Grandfather said the day I could pull the string on his bow, it would be mine. Then why didn't you have it with you? I was 13 when my grandfather made me that promise. I would rise at dawn to practice my shots until I could hit the isolate of a helmet from the top of the ramparts. Oh, wow. Well. But my parents pledged me to the chantry before I could show him. Were you and your grandfather close? He was a man of the world, Prince of Starkhaven. But he had the most unshakable faith in the Maker. When my parents threatened to pledge me to the Chantry, he told me he'd gladly trade his title for a life of contemplation. The Maker ordained a place for each of us, I remember him saying. We have only to serve. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna get the video here, and when we come back, more Dragon Age 2. Thanks for watching, guys.